All right, well, hello there. It is Monday, October 9th, and uh, it is 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> and we are just starting the vlog. No, there's a very good reason for that. Uh, so this morning, yeah, I had the morning sale. And as soon as the morning sale was over, I left the house. Um, if you've been following uh, on my channel, you probably have noticed I have not gone sourcing. Uh, I have not been doing haul videos or shop with me videos or anything. I have been um, pretty much packing and invoicing and uh, trying to get my house back in order. Yeah, still from the construction. And I've been organizing some things and going through some of my um, just or things that need to get organized, really. Um, so I have been working on that kind of stuff. And uh, so I took advantage today since it was a holiday, no mail, and, um, and I went out sourcing knowing that I had to be back here before uh, three o'clock in the afternoon because that is when the evening sale starts. I know, evening sale, three o'clock in the afternoon. I know, but that is when the evening sale starts. So it was a busy day. And you, as soon as I go through the sales, the morning sale, the evening sale, you will be seeing a little bit of a shop with me. Uh, so I went, I drove a little further than normal and went to a Goodwill that I don't go to as often. I might not be back there for a while. Uh, and you'll see why. And then uh, because of another thrift store in the area, I did stop in at that thrift store um, also. I did not shoot any um, video because it is, it's small and just like with Goodwill, I didn't get as much footage as normal. Um, I think just because it was a holiday, there were a lot of people in the store lot of people. So, um, so yeah, it made it a little harder and the other thrift store is, is a lot smaller. So I didn't get, um, any footage there. Um, but we'll go ahead. We'll talk about the morning sale. We'll talk about the, um, evening sale and then you'll get to see the shop with me. Now, if everything goes to plan tomorrow, you'll get to see a haul. So that'll be pretty awesome. All right. So for the morning sale, um, I brought 48 items to the sale. Um, some unusual items. Um, and I, I wasn't sure what to expect for, uh, for bringing them. Um, we'll go through them again in the part <laughs> where I talk about the things that didn't sell. Um, luckily, I do have other avenues to sell. And this is something that, yeah, maybe I'll just have to find another avenue. Or maybe someone will uh, watch this, go back, watch the sale, because, yeah, I'll, I'll need to refer you back to the sale to see um, a little more of this on detail. Uh, but I brought 48 items to the sale. I sold 10. Uh, so I am going to flip the camera around and we'll talk about uh, the 10 items that sold and then we'll go through the items that are still available. All right, so the 10 items that sold... Uh, this was a uh, mail order um, embroidery uh, template for a very, very large floral basket. It's beautiful. So I'm so glad that's going to a new home. 
Uh, this is part of the things I brought. Um, Spedia's American Designer Pattern. And this one I'll go ahead and show. The other ones I probably won't so much. Um, I'll, I'll refer you back. But these are from designers in New York. Um, from what I can tell, the series ran in the 50s and into the 60s. And you could send away four um, actual designer clothes that, you know, you can make. Uh, but this pattern is from Seal Chapman, and this is a fantastic dress. And the part I really love about this is the pockets, the sleeves, and the collar. Love that detail. And uh, yeah, so this is a pretty awesome um, kit here, the pattern that you get. Um, so I have a bunch more of those. And again, I'll probably refer you back to, well, we'll see what, what I, I show. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I also sold this little angel doll that could be used as an ornament. Some Boyd's. Um, this is Prissy. Clementine, Natasha, Colette, and Yvette. This uh, New Orleans doll and the Japanese. Um, yeah, so that those are the 10 items that I sold. Uh, so what is still available? Um, let's see, where am I going to start? Well, let's start, let's start right here. I'm going to tilt my camera a little bit here there we go let's start the greek couple uh they are three dollars they're they're mounted on that little board there we've got the gondolier uh he is three dollars the hawaiian doll she is four dollars the pair of little folk dolls here they are six dollars and the avon cat uh, she is eight dollars um, i also have this one um, and i ended up bringing her to the evening sale she is still available she's got a basket on her head full of goodies and she is a uh, ten dollars Okay, then we've got, um, this is Anissa Little Whittle Bear. Where is her tag? That, she, she's got a really hard name. Anissa Whittle Bear. Uh, she is a white bear with a scarf. Uh, $10 for the bear. This one is, oops. His tag is right here. Uh, Freddie Beanburger. And Freddie is $10. And then we've got the firefighter. His little rubber boots. He's got his hat. He's at station number one. And his name was uh, Buckley. Buckley. And he was $12. All right, so then let's go through the, um, the patterns and everything that I have. Um, this is a catalog from Knitograph that showed all of the different um, patterns that they have available. That was $2. Uh, this one with the sweaters and the shorts boy sizes two four and six this is eight dollars uh, this is for sizes one two and four you get the little sun outfit and the little sweater and shorts and that is two dollars this is another catalog this one is in color that one is two dollars 
The bear sweater in sizes two, four, and six, that is $2. The kittens, uh, that is in sizes two through eight, that is $2. The bunnies, sizes two through six, and that is $2. The ducks on the front and the back, sizes two through six, two dollars. And the socks, those are ages two through eight, and that is two dollars. Lacey's baby book, yep, this has several uh, baby sets in here for you to knit, and this book is two dollars. The quilting book, that is $4. And this has several pages of quilting patterns. So $4 on that one. Um, then we're getting into a little obscure stuff. So the gal that I got all these patterns from, she was a really, really good seamstress. Um, so good, in fact, that she ended up making her own patterns. And that's what these are, are her own patterns. Um, so I'll go through as best I can with these. Um, so this one is a pair of Glen of Michigan pants and Mary Knight pants. No pictures of them, um, but for both of them, that is uh, $2. And I'll kind of show you the best I can with these. That she really did make her own out of the transfer paper with all kinds of notes. But uh, yeah, she made her own patterns. And so those are two pairs of pants. Um, approximately, um, I believe she was a size 10, um, which is what most of the uh, patterns are. Uh, in the chat, someone did the conversion. Thank you so much for that. That a size 10 back in the 50s and 60s is the equivalent of a size 4 today. Uh, this one is a blouse pattern. That is $2. Uh, this one, she did write on here. And um, let's see, after that, oh, this was a ship and shore, the ship and shore blouse. This is a simplicity full skirt. And that one is $2. Uh, this one is a sleeveless top. And let me see if I can find those. She actually did do um, a little, here we go, little diagrams. So on this one, she drew these for the sleeveless top. And uh, so that pattern is $2. Trying to get that back in the bag so I don't lose them. Uh, this one says Bermuda, but it looks like it's a jacket. Uh, so that one is $2. This one, it says um, Shift and Bloomers. Uh, there is a... There is this inside, and I think this might be the dress that she did. That one right there. Yeah, I'll keep that right there. Um, then we have, oh, a skirt, a skirt pattern. And then this one, I think, says Mama's Favorite Dress on this one. Um, this pattern is a lot thicker. There's a lot more parts to this one. So mama's favorite dress had a lot of pieces to it. 
Uh, then I've got a bundle of um, the transfer type uh, tracing paper, and that little bundle is two dollars. Okay, now these are out of order. I can tell already. Let me see. Is that, that's not the one we started with. Okay, then I have a bunch of these Spadia patterns. They are, for the most part, going to be $5. So here, David Goodstein, this dress, and that is the, the pattern is in there. So that one is $5. Let's see. This one is by Jose or Josette Walker. Gorgeous dress. And that one is five dollars. Let's see. This one by Ellen Brooke. And that one is five dollars. Uh, this one, I love this one. Joe Copeland. I just, I love the cut of this jacket and the collar. That is awesome. And I just love the way it's illustrated. So that one is five dollars. Uh, this one, let's see, there's a couple in this envelope. So there is a jacket, like a winter jacket, Monte, Monte Sano. Uh, this one is $8 for the jacket. And then we've got this lovely suit, Vera Maxwell. And that one is $5. Uh, this one is, I'm going to keep this as a set of three. So this one is $10 for the set of three. And you're going to get this sleeveless top, this jacket, and then this dress. So all three of those, those are $10. Uh, this one is a customized pattern, and it gives you instructions in here on how to customize it. So the way that the, and look at this dress. Don't you just love those buttons? Oh, that is so good. So it gives you here um, examples of how to go about doing a customized fit for this dress. Uh, so this pattern is $8. And then this one gives you, it says a complete wardrobe in one. I have all of the components. This is from 1964. I don't have any of the instructions and I don't have any illustrations on how this is supposed to look. But all of the patterns are in here and they are all uncut. Uh, so this one is going to be $15. All right. So that is everything from the morning. I'm going to flip over here to the table and we are going to talk about the evening sale. All right. So for the evening sale, um, we bring 15 items. Um, I did bring just 15 items and seven of them sold. So eight are still available. Uh, so let's go over the items that are still available. And I brought two crafting lots. Now these are actually different from the crafting lots that I have brought on a uh, Friday night. Uh, so these ones are different. They feature about two pounds of ephemera in here. There is a lot of ephemera in here. There are handwritten notes. Um, there are typed like study page pages. 
There are tons of receipts and checks and a lot of Canadian um, things. Like this is a Canadian telegraph. Uh, some po vintage postcards, some scenic, um, scenic pictures, just all kinds of uh, travel brochures in these. Um, so both of these are $10 each and it's about two pounds of ephemera. Okay, then I have the dresser set. Uh, this is not marked. I don't know who made this dresser set, but it is really a, a beautiful pattern and nicely done and very interesting shapes. Uh, that is $20. I have the purple glass vase, that is 15. The stack of um, clay pots. So they are distressed on purpose. They're, they're new, they've never been used. They're just, um, you know, again, made to look distressed. Uh, that's $15. The Tanala Mexican Pottery Duck. This one has a beautiful deer on one side and this very fancy bird on the other. It says Mexico on the bottom. That is $20. I have a marionette. Yes, I was working on getting the strings untangled. Um, I'll, I'll keep working on that. Uh, he's $8 and his hands have little holes in them. So you could use him for every holiday and put little things in there for him to hold. Uh, oh, and then I had the doll, the doll um, with the, the head basket. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so those are the eight items that are still available. Uh, the items that sold, we've got the basket, or the basket. Oh, oh, it's getting late. Uh, the wood bowl, the Navajo dream catcher, little ceramic jar, the uh, yellow Tierra glass basket, the acro agate creamer. Uh, I brought three sets of antique uh, Christmas postcards. Uh, so those are the seven items that sold. Um, if you remember from, oh gosh, was it Saturday night? I think it was Saturday night. I had this Shawnee planter. Well, I also had this listed on eBay. And it did sell from my eBay listing. Um, I accepted a $30 offer on this lovely, it's in beautiful condition. Um, so I am gonna get that upstairs along with everything else and get it ready uh, to be shipped out. Um, all right, so, whew. okay, I know that was a lot, uh, but I think we are caught up now. And so then the last part um, I will quickly mention, um, now that it is, going on, going on 8.30, because <laughs> I've been talking since 8 o'clock. Um, I am going to organize the items that didn't sell, get them kind of tucked away, nice and safe, to bring out for another sale, another day. Uh, the items that sold, I'm going to get them organized and get them upstairs, because tomorrow, yes, tomorrow is packing and invoicing day after the morning sale, so I'll be working on that. Um, I have to get the table cleared off because I have to still set up for the morning sale. Yeah, I have to get that done. And I will then be downloading, uploading, whichever, <laughs> my uh, videos uh, so that tomorrow you can watch the shop with me. Uh, so yeah, so we'll be doing that first. Um, I didn't get a ton of footage and watch for some of my shorts that will be coming up also. I'll, I'll try to put a couple of the shorts on um, 
Oh, I can't remember how many I made. I need to go and look. I think at least three. There might be four. Uh, where I kind of highlight a couple of um, special items that I found at the stores. So, um, so yeah, so watch for the shorts also and enjoy the shop with me. And thank you for watching because there isn't going to be an ending to the video. It's just going to end when the shopping is done. But thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.